All right, you guys. Hey, uh, good evening. Just got done with work. Actually, actually just got done with a haircut, which I'm super excited about. But, uh, so, I've actually been watching a guy, Bob Ross. I'm sure everybody knows who Bob Ross is. Uh, super soft-spoken dude, super soft voice, just very relaxing. And uh, I need to start working on not being so animated and like yelling at this freaking camera. But um, anyways, been really enjoying watching Bob Ross lately. But guys, today we're gonna talk about some takeoffs. Now, I think that takeoffs are one of the most important things that you're ever gonna learn, all right? You've got to learn what a takeoff is, when you need to use a takeoff, and uh, and how to find where they are in the book, all right? Now, and other tricks and stuff, which we're gonna get into later. I'm not gonna show you all the little tricks and stuff to it right now because it would just overwhelm you right now, all right? So, I'm gonna draw up a super simple ISO. Now, I left my construction calculator at the job and with me in math, uh, I, I, I need to write things down quite a bit because if I don't, I wind up getting very jumbled and I will lose track of what I've taken off, what the pup is, and how I got to that number, all right? So to me, uh, calculator, very handy. Um, I, I know a bunch of you had mentioned that you guys don't have construction calculators. Well, I know you all have a phone. Everybody in the world has a smartphone now. So, I just downloaded this calculator. Uh, let me see what it's called really quick. It's the Construction Master Pro. It's $25 and you'll be able to do all your fractions and whatever else in it, all right? So, it's important to have one. Do You've gotta have one if you're gonna get into the fracture end, fraction end of things. So, let's drop this ISO and we're gonna start breaking it down. Now, I hope that I can break it down well enough that you guys can follow along. This is gonna be a very simple ISO. All right, we're gonna have a run, an elevation, and a fitting to fitting weld. All right, so there's a weld, there's a weld, there's a weld, there's a weld, there's a weld. Now to me, this is extremely important. I, I'm looking in the camera, I'm hoping you guys can see what I'm seeing. Okay. Now in my, when I get an ISO, I usually get an overall length and an overall elevation, all right? Most of the time, that's what I wind up getting. So we're gonna go to a face-to-face -face measurement right here, which is face of flange to face of flange. We're gonna say it's four foot long. All right, so we got a four foot total length. When this thing gets completely built, um, it's gonna be four foot long. Now our elevation, we're just gonna keep it very simple. Elevation is measured center of pipe to center of pipe. Everything you do in pipe is going to be center of pipe to center of pipe, all right? So we're center of pipe right here to center of pipe down here. We're just gonna say it's two foot. We're just gonna try to make our lives as easy as we can make it, okay? Now we're gonna say that this is a four inch piece of pipe. Uh, here, I'm going to build a materials list over here. Normally on your ISOs, so I'm thinking, I'm trying to think if you guys are looking at me. So this is my right side, uh, which I think is how you guys are seeing it too. So this is my right side. On most of your ISOs, there will be a materials list of what you need. Now we're just going to say a uh, four inch pipe. We're going to make it easy. I'm not going to do schedules or anything like that. We know it's four inch pipe. Uh, we got two four inch 90s, just standard 90s you guys, we're not getting into the long radius, short radius, it's just a standard 90, all right. <clears throat> we got two uh, four inch 150 flanges is what I'm going to say, all right, 150 pound flanges. Now for each one of these, there is going to be a takeoff for what you have to do because what happens, and I'm just gonna draw right up here. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. 
Okay, if you have a four foot overall length on this one little pup, all right, so say that's four foot. If you go ahead and add a flange on here, and add a flange on here, you are increasing distance, all right? Now, a four inch flange, a four inch 150 flange, which I'm gonna show, should tell you what page you can find that on. Um, a 150 is on page 102 in your pipe fitters blue book from WV Graves. You guys need to have one of those because it's going to tell you what the takeoffs are on these things. On a 4 inch 150 pound flange, you are you have a 3 inch takeoff, okay? So we're going to write that down right here. All right. Now there's certain ways you can find your 90s. We're not going to get into that today. I'm going to show you how to do that later on. But you can find your 90 takeoffs on pages 95, all right? So on just a regular 45, or a, a 90, sorry, a four inch 90, we're six inch takeoff. We have a six inch takeoff. Okay, now back to what I'm talking about with your takeoffs. If you have a four foot overall, you add two flanges onto this, you have now just increased your distance six inches, all right? We're going with 150 pound flanges. That means from this flange is adding three inches on that side and three inches on this side. So in order to, for me to explain what the takeoff is, if you're going for an overall length of four inches, I mean four foot, sorry guys, I'm, I'm, thinking as I as I explain all right if you're going for an overall length of four foot and you add two 150 flanges on both ends of this you have to take off oh, three inches for one side and three inches for the other side so it's gonna look like this you're gonna be four foot minus three inches which is this flange right here minus three inches which is this flange over here which equals three foot six inches all right your three foot six inches is going to be the pup that when you go cut your four inch piece of pipe it needs to be three foot six inches because the flanges are making up for the other six inches for your overall length to be four foot hopefully that makes sense now there's other things we're going to be taking off as well in this iso that we just drawn up this was an example to try to explain what the takeoffs are for so, okay guys, now, as we get into this, we're four foot right here. I'm hoping my calculator downloaded, it is working on it still, we're about three quarter of the way, all right? Okay, I'm gonna write up here some of the things you need to keep in mind on this particular ISO. We have gaskets which on this ISO is an eighth inch takeoff per gasket. Now there's a gasket that goes in here and a gasket that goes in here, all right? Two different gaskets. We have flanges that need took off. Your flanges are three inches a piece. They're 154 inch flanges. Now we have our 90s, our 90 degrees, our 90 degree fittings, which you have two of them, but they're six inches a piece as a takeoff, which means from center of pipe to weld is six inches. Either direction you go, right here, right here, six inches, all right? <clears throat> now, now this is a touch and go one for me. Sometimes I take out for weld gaps, sometimes I do not, all right? I run kind of a little bit bigger of a gap. I run about a 332 gap. Well. I like a nickel land dime, dime gap is what they call it. And I don't know, I mean, it might be a 16th inch of a gap. I ain't sure. I just take the gap that I like. I've done it so many times. I just kind of just know what I like, all right? So we're going to do weld gaps on this one just so you guys are aware how to do your weld gaps. Now, we're just going to say you take a 16th inch gap. So, those are the takeoffs on how to build this piece so that when the bolt-up hands take this thing and they just go set it in. 
that thing's gonna slide right in, your gaskets are gonna slide in, the bolts are going in, boom, it's pristine, all right? <clears throat> okay, we're four foot as our overall length. Now, we have a gasket here. This is an eighth inch, all right? I'm hoping you guys are seeing a lot of this. I think you are, pretty sure you are. But, okay, now I'm gonna do my math right over here on how I find Right now we're looking for pup A. This is A. This is gonna be B. This is fitting to fitting. All right. So we got a four foot overall length. So four foot minus. So we're just gonna start on this side right here and work our way through this. We have an eighth inch minus an eighth inch for a gasket. Minus three inches for your flange, which is gonna be right here to right here, three inches. Minus six inches for your 90. Minus, now guys, this is center of pipe. So we had to take out for this 90, now we're down here. All we are is right here, the center of pipe. Now we need to take off for another six inches for this 90. So minus six inches, Minus, got someone from Boise calling me. Six inches, so we're right here, minus six inches, so we have our two 90s, minus three inches for our other flange, minus an eighth inch for the other gasket. Now, that's gonna give us a pretty good idea on what this pup is. Now, one thing you gotta keep in mind is if we are taking out for weld gaps, on this ISO, we're just gonna go ahead and do it so I can show you how to do it. Now, we know that there's a weld here, a weld here, and a weld here that's gonna affect the distance, all right? If you take a bigger gap here, you're growing. Take a bigger gap over here, you're growing. Then when you get up to that flange 90 and you take a gap up there, you are growing, all right? We know that there's one, two, three welds in our length piece. We need to take out three sixteenths of an inch for those weld gaps. Now, to find pup A, hopefully my, yeah, boom, it is on and we are rolling. Skip. Yeah, this is just like my regular calculator. All right. So we're four foot minus an eighth inch for the first gasket. Minus one eighth inch. Minus three inches for the flange. Minus six inches for the 90. Minus six inches again for the other 90. Minus a flange. Minus the other gasket that is fitting in here. So minus an eighth inch. Now, we have our three welds that are going to affect the overall length of this piece which is 3 16th. We're going to go a 16th inch per weld. So minus 3 16th of an inch equals. Now, we know that pup A, this piece right here, the pup we got to cut in order to make the distance work is going to be 2 foot 5, 9 16ths of an inch. All right? That is pup A right there. Boom. Okay, now the other way you guys can check and make sure that you're right and your pup, like kind of double, triple check yourself, uh, just start adding all that back in. You got two foot five, nine sixteenths. Add your weld gaps, add your gaskets, add your 90s, add your flanges, and you should come back out to four foot overall length, all right? If you don't, something is wrong and you need to go back through and check it again. Okay. Now let's work on our distance here. We, our, uh, we, got our, we got our length, we're working on elevation. Let me kind of erase some of this so it's not quite so stinking confusing. All right. Now in this, we don't really need to worry about flanges or anything like that. All we gotta worry about is these two 90s. Now we know that we're two foot. From center of pipe to center of pipe. That's what that needs to be. Now we're gonna go ahead and minus out the 190, which is right here. So on our length piece, to find the length, we took 90s out from here and here, okay? On our elevation, 
where you're now taking them out from the sides which is from weld to center of pipe six inches six inches okay now we have two welds that are going to affect our our elevation sixteenth inch per weld so we're going to do it the long way just show you how to get it done two foot minus six inches for 190 minus six inches for the other 90 minus a sixteenth minus a sixteenth which is an eighth inch all right now so I don't look completely stupid on here. I'm just going to do it in my calculator. Two foot minus six inches for 190, minus six inches for the other 90, minus an eighth inch for your weld gaps. All right. We know that this pup right here is going to be 11 and seven eighths inches. Okay. That gives us from center of pipe to center of pipe. That's going to give us our elevation to be able to, when they go to bolt this thing up, it's going to fit just perfect, all right? So anyways, you guys, I'm hoping that that helped you out. I'm, I'm trying to build some of these fitter, uh, these fitter episodes to try to, Try to teach you guys, try to try to explain what the takeoffs are, how to find your pipe ISOs, how, how to read a pipe ISO, how to find the pup length. Hopefully this all made sense to you. If you have questions, let me know because we can probably do a video on it and I'm sure multiple people have the same question, all right? So anyways, you guys, takeoffs are very simple. Sometimes it'll get confusing. We got to start adding ball valves, check valves. We got... Uh, bleed rings and all sorts of stuff that we got to start adding in but as of right now we need to just I'm gonna come back we're probably gonna do I don't know we'll do a few of these I'm gonna start bringing some of my ISOs home that I work on and uh, and I'll just draw it up and we'll walk through how to find that takeoff and how to find your pup links because guys I do this for you but I also do it for me these are all like little math problems that help me stay sharp on what I'm doing Nothing is more gut-wrenching than when you see a piece that you just built and man, you were 100% sure that sucker was flying out there and you're good to go and then it starts coming back. I'm going to tell you, you die a little every time and, uh, and it's very depressing and very hard sometimes to get out of the funk of it and be like, alright, where did we mess up, you know, because it, it's a pride thing, man. When you build something, you are freaking sure that that thing is going in and it's going to go fit perfect. And then when it comes back, man, I tell you, it's like you got put on the ground and kicked in the teeth. I hate it. And so to do something like this and to try to help you guys figure out how to read one of these is very, very important for me to help you. But also for me to walk through the steps uh, again and again and again. Okay, that's how you get good no matter what. So anyways, you guys, be blessed. Like, subscribe, comment. Share this with your friends because it's the only way we can grow and help more people that are interested in the same thing you guys are interested in. And uh, we'll talk to you all later. Be blessed. See ya.